Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. From their own 41-yard line, first down. at about the 49 and that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back that'll make it second and inches two times two times but you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run short yardage situation here it's third and one Almost had it, but it's incomplete. Well, that's one effective way to slow these guys down. Getting a hand between the ball and the receiver. And he hits him hard at the 47th. First down, pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 46. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And they make the stop at the 32. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got a change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented. But you got to know the defense is going to come after it. This is the eighth play of this drive. Makes it to the 24. That's a deep lead on the play. That brings up second and It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Passes it to the middle of the field, and he's taken down at the 19. Pass complete there for about five yards and a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. This is the 10th play of this drive. Inside give. He's pushed out of bounds at the nine. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. And this is the 12th play of the drive. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there. 
And the defense this time wins the battle. They've got one fourth down conversion on this drive. Now they'll give it another go. Got a man. Watch out here. He's in for the touchdown. Now the defense again completely forgot about him and he made them pay for it big time. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth and I'm sure they're happy with the result. And he hits the PAT. It was a 13 play 76 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. The score now 7-0 and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. From their own 26 yard line. It's second down. He's tackled at the 23 yard line. That makes it 30 and 15. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Looking for the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They come out on an empty backfield. He tackles him for a loss. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Got it and brought down immediately. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Seven, nothing. We're back for more action here in quarter number two. And he has it on the corner. And he is drilled at the five. It's first down, and he'll be looking for six points here. him down in the backfield. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. That brings us to second goal. He 
makes it to the six-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That makes it third and goal. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. Throws to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. And if they can connect on this one, that'll put them up by a couple of scores. The kick is up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. Shelton fields it at the 17. And he just got stood up right there. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. From their own 44-yard line. First down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. They'll knock him down for a loss. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. Scrambling around. He's taken down, right around the 50. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He scrambled. And he's tackled at the 39. From the 35 yard line, second down. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So we're looking at another third down here. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 27 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 20-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Again with the run. Gets out to around the 12. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He makes it to the nine. Three yards there on the option keeper. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the nine-yard line. 
There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's scrambling. Tackle around the seven-yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. He's hit and taken down. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. And he tackles him hard at the three-yard line. Loss of two by the halfback. The defender snuck right through the blocks and just drilled the ball carrier. That's a standout play. He's on the run, and they make the stop at the two. Cole picks up a yard on the scramble. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. Can the defense make a stop? Fourth down and goal to go. We're at the one-yard line. tries to buy some time. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Well, this quarterback has great instincts, but he showed his smarts here as well, seeing that there was room to run for the touchdown instead of trying to force the pass. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 10 7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's, it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna keep getting what you've been getting. And you gotta find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run us a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody, bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. That's gonna do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Fred and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese Davis, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Shelton fields it at the 18. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Steps out of bounds, the 38-yard line.
And they get nice yardage on that run. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Gets out to around the 38. Spread the field with five wide. Scrambling around. And he's leveled the 26 yard line. From the 26 yard line, it's first down. And he breaks another. Touchdown, big play. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. And he's tackled at the 29. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter. Kirk. Exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. Be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's taken down at the 26. The defense were playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for them. It's second and 13. Ball on the 26. goes downtown and he got it he's tackled at the 15 yard line it's really difficult to cover somebody this fast you can't stay with him in a one-on-one -on -one coverage and even when you double team him he still has the speed to beat you you just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback so let's see how the defense responds now it's first down and 10. They run left and he'll lose yardage. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a game of five yards. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 11-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's pushed out of bounds around the 10-yard line. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. It's up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Shelton fields it at the 18. It's 
So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And he stopped behind the line. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 25-yard line. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. He scrambled. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. He's tackled immediately after the catch. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Oh, so close to breaking it. For a second, it looked like he was going to take that one all the way. They picked up three points on their last possession, and they've got great field position to work from here. They bring the quarterback down. So the sack makes this a second and long. And down he goes to the 39-yard line. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick roll, almost intercepted. Number five was the intended receiver on the ball. That makes it fourth and long. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. That's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. And they back up three yards on that play. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the nine. Draw play. Tackle made right around the 22-yard line. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. to the final quarter and we've got a great game on our hands 14 13 Warriors back in this very pivotal fourth quarter four down, four down. Mike, four. empty backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. 
It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 21. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Five wide. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Number 15, he intends on receiver on the play. That makes it over the draw. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. They'll bring him down at the 27. That was a huge special teams play. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Makes his way out to about the 15. It's first and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. And he's tackled around the 14-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That makes it second and 10. and tackled in the backfield. Third and long. This defense digs in here, and it could be their ball game. He's out of bounds. Round the six-yard line. The kick is up, and it is good. And with that, all the pressure now shifts back to the other side. That's what a good kicker can do. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number six, Shelton fields at the 17, tackle at the 28-yard line. But well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 38. From their own 38-yard line. First down. He's going to try and scramble. Runs with it, and he's got room. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. And he's hit immediately. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at the 34. That makes it second and six.
They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Passes and it's almost picked off. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and three. He makes his way to about the 22. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he tackles him hard at the 22-yard line. Second and 10. Ball on the 22. A little over a minute in the game. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 13-yard line. The defense calls a timeout. And they've got two remaining. This is the 10th play of this drive. Throws it in a hurry. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Defense and their short yardage package. Touchdown, and they take the lead. two in this situation. He's got the two. It was an 11 play, 70 yard drive, and they add eight points to their total. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Taken down around the 29-yard line. The offense calls a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 29. Under a minute left in the game. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. He wants it all going long. Great concentration to haul it in. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. It's second and goal. Seven yards for the touchdown. And we're all tied up.
The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. Penalty markers Delay down. Game. They took too much Off time. Offense. He makes the PAT. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. A field goal now almost certainly wins it. So if they can get inside the kicker's range, they're in great shape. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Caught, open field. He goes out of bounds at the 32-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Now he tries to buy some time, and he is drilled at the 38-yard line. That was a great decision to take off. He saw a little bit of room open up, and he knew he could get the first. Scrambling around. And down he goes at the 39. Cole picks up a yard on the scramble. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 39. He lets it fly. And he holds in the deep pass. What a miracle. There's no time left on the clock. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. Mike four, Mike four. And they're looking to get two points here. He's on the run. And they won't get the two. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.